Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Tiny Goat, or Camilla is her Sunday name, and, uh, and she's the most beautiful little pygmy goat kid, who uh, unfortunately, her mum hasn't got enough milk to feed her, so we've got the job of bottle feeding her now, and she's taken to it really well. Uh, we, we've still a long road to travel, she's, she's only tiny, um, she, she possibly has a compromised immune system. She hasn't had as much of mum's milk as we would have liked. Uh, but unfortunately mum only milked on one teat. Tiny Goat has a brother who was taking the lion's share of the milk. And, uh, and this little mite wasn't getting hardly any. So we've bottle fed her. David's bought her a little gift, haven't you? Yeah, I uh, brought it her last night and uh, straight away she went over and cuddled up to him. She's looking where it's gone now. Ooh. There you go. She's got her own little shire horse. There you go, Flower. For the best of friends, it's important she gets a bit of company. We keep coming in, we keep spending time with her, we keep stroking her, we're feeding her six times a day, and she's proper loving this little horse now. She, uh, she's the most affectionate little goat I've ever known, and we're going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that we rear her. So uh, it's by no means a foregone conclusion that we will, because She's obviously got some big challenges and big hurdles to overcome. Um, but we really feel as though she's got a great chance and it won't be for the lack of our effort if we don't succeed. So we're going to give it everything. I mean, she's, she's only five days old, isn't she, Rob? If that. So she's doing ever so well. Good girl. And she loves a scratch. She loves a fuss. Um, and she just loves some company and some attention. It's absolutely heartbreaking when you have to take a kid away from, from mum. But we knew, with her having one teat that produced no milk at all, this poor little mite was spending all its time sucking a teat that didn't work, burning it, all its energy for no reward. So we, we knew that its only chance was to, was to take it away, put it into a special care environment where we became mum, where it was looking to us for food, we're able to feed it, we're, uh, we're able to, uh, to meet all its requirements, in, especially emotionally, because it needs company and it needs a pal, and we've, uh, we've got it this soft toy and it really seems to have taken to it. And um, we're winning at the moment, but there's a long road to travel. As the little goat gets older, we will be able to uh, give it a friend for company, won't we, Rob? You know, either uh, a little lamb or one of the other little animals. Yeah, I've, I've got a... Uh, Another animal nearby that I'm bottle feeding. I can't say what it is because I'm embargoed for the TV program, but my intention is that Tiny Goat or Camilla teams up with the animal I'm bottle feeding next door and they're going to become firm friends, they're going to become farm favourites and they're going to have the best of lives on our family farm.